You know I love me some Michonne. However, Andrea's my girl. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, guys? We are talking The Walking Dead. Comic book. Comic book. Spoilers are, are, you know, I might be talking about some spoilers, so you've been warned. You have been warned. Now, like the thumbnail and the title suggests, this is Who Do You Like Better, Michonne or Andrea? I want to know what you guys think. Please tell me, who do you like better in a comic book series, Andrea or Michonne? This is going through the whole, no TV, no TV, so don't think about the TV, Andrea. Don't even think about the Michonne, uh, Michonne, Andrea, Michonne TV version. This is just basically comic book. Now, my feelings toward this question is this. I love Michonne. You know, I think they're doing a fantastic job in a TV series, but we're not talking about the TV series. We're talking about the comic book. And in the comic book, I believe Robert Kirkman, in a very kind of... He definitely um, showcased Michonne of being a badass. She is a badass. She's a badass. She's a katana-wielding katana fucking badass. And her story is pretty damn tragic, especially recent events where she's trying to look for her kids. Um, and she's a pirate. Come on. She's a pirate, damn it. Uh, being with Rick's side as well, being that close confidant where Rick could really trust Michonne. I mean, Michonne is one of the, like... Well, not one of the few, but she's up there. She's probably more trustworthy to Rick than Maggie, honestly. Michonne, really, uh, it's kind of funny too, though. When definitely with Michonne, she loves to, you know, sleep with anybody she wants to sleep with. That kind of sounds like uh, a male counterpart as well. I mean, hell, I don't blame her for it. But throughout the story, I was like, damn, man, Michonne. You're going after her. You're going after all these guys. Tyree, she, she definitely, I guess you could say she's kind of a, a little bit of a, not a home wrecker, but she definitely, she loves to basically take take something that, it's, it's competitive, honestly. It's competitive, where she loves to basically, um, like Tyree's was with Carol, um, I believe Heath, Denise, it has to be Denise. It has to be Denise. There's too many Denises in my life. Uh, Denise. Uh, he, well, she tries to take Heath, uh, the, and then yeah, Morgan. I thought Morgan was great. You know, Morgan was a little bit crazy, but and stuff and that. But other than that, I mean, we're going to talk about you know sex. We're going to talk about like the you know what the, overall the character, what I thought of the character, and that's what I thought when I was reading Michonne. Like, damn, Michonne, she 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 ain't playing. She is not playing. She a pimp. She a pimp. You know, it's hot out here for a whole pin. Uh, fucking Michonne, man. Uh, but Michonne, other than that, she definitely is like, she's just the traumatic experience she had with the governor and then bringing it back to him and fucking his shit up. Like, literally fucking his shit up. I mean, Michonne has been a character that has been through a lot. A lot of shit. So you're definitely, like, rooting for her. You're definitely embracing her. And then you have Esquivel. You know, you have the relationship with her uh, with her and Esquivel. That one seems more, definitely, I think I like that relationship more than I liked. Uh, I like Morgan as well. Then I like, really, t her and Tyrese. Or her trying to get with Heath. But uh, her and Esquivel definitely seems like they have an understanding. And Esquivel is like one of those guys who definitely kind of tries to understand Michonne. Michonne, you know, at one point, Lane, Lane just trying to give up the sword. Trying to give up the katana. Trying to change her life in a comic book series. Um, I mean, just, you could definitely relate to Michonne. Michonne is a character you just follow and you're like, shit, man. You know, she she definitely has that hardness to her. She definitely has that straightforwardness to her. But you definitely understand her and you definitely respect her. So Michonne is one, definitely one of my favorite characters, comic book uh, wise. And just her overall, her just, her, like, if anybody, if that's saying there's a saying there, you know, I'll go through hell and back. I'll go through hell and back, right? Michonne, I fucking honestly believe she'll go through hell and back. She will. She'll go through hell and back. You do not fuck with Michonne, all right? 
And just look at what they're doing today. Look what everybody's using a katana because they know exactly how Michonne gets down. And they know that this weapon is such of use. It's so useful. So it's very interesting what's going to happen in Michonne in the future. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about these two and then, you know, tell you who I choose. I think you could already tell my voice who I'm going to choose because when I talk about my girl Andrea, Andrea, like I love Michonne, but Andrea overall, like there's something about this character. I'm like, holy shit, man. She's such a badass. Michonne's a badass. So is Andrea. I think Andrea, though, also, I think maybe I tend to go towards her kind of tragic kind of story, her tragic journey. Because think about it. She lost her fucking sister in the very beginning, right? She lost her sister. She was, overall in the beginning, was practicing gunfire, which was, which was great, from Shane and Rick. Also, the fact that basically she, she, you know, she don't mind. She don't mind getting down with the elderly. And she gets down with Dale. You know, that relationship with her and Dale was actually something very, very interesting. Robert Kirkman did a beautiful job of creating something that's, you know, it's not unbelievable, especially in the zombie apocalypse, but it's so fucking interesting to watch these two and their journey. And also when they adopt those kids, I can't remember the kid's name, when they adopted those kids and those kids end up being fucking crazy. And then, you know, Carl putting one down because the other one put the brother down. The, the other one put the brother yeah the other one put the brother down uh and then andrea having to fucking you know what having to stomach that you know having to just like i still love this kid you know they they're, they're my kids this and that uh her and dale trying to you know have a family trying to get out of this shit but and then her fucking coming back from the governor when the governor raided and her coming back with dale and her sh just fucking snipering the shit out of everybody snipering the shit out of everybody that's a that's a beast right there. That's a fucking beast. Um, also, you know, like I said, going back to the kids though, you know, uh, I I can't really recall. I think she did. How come? I want to have a feeling that she did tell Rick that I know it was, you know, Carl. I know it was Carl that you know killed uh, my son. I'm pretty sure she did, but I, I I might be I might be just really maybe I was dreaming. and I want her to say that. Um, if I was wrong, guys, I'm sorry. I'm just going to leave it there because I think she did. But if she didn't, or maybe she doesn't, still doesn't know that Carl's the one that killed her son. <sighs> That's a hard one. It feel, It's me thinking about it just imagine so real. So I'm going to skip that altogether. But I'm just going to say, yeah, basically her, you know, and then with the, her loss with Dale. Dale, one of her love, her lives. Um how hard that might be and like her just losing the shit this is the compare this is what's kind of separate from her and a lot of the group especially rick how she could have fucking went crazy right how she could have just ended her life how could she just been depressed as hell but no she did not do that she did not especially i think the best example is when she grabs dale's hat and like she's starting to talk about rick and she's like no no i ain't fucking talking to a fucking hat that was that that scene is so subtle but i was like holy shit you know what that is what i'm fucking talking about andrea means business she tells rick we're survivors whose curse is gonna fucking get it first we're survivors we don't die we survive that's an awesome mentality and plus she looks like a fucking desperado towards the end i think i also love that too uh relationship wise and just overall you know because when you talk walking dead you gotta talk relationships as well just like michonne uh michonne i i really did like michonne and morgan even though it didn't last very long um but I, like i said her and Ascavel, i do like the the difference but then the the attractiveness but then the overall effort in that relationship even though right now it's not doing so well um, I like uh, Rick with Michonne and Maggie and how he could trust them. He fucking trusts Andrea. Like that's her. That's his number two. All right, that's his number two. That's a sec. That's definitely his second wife. Uh, and Andrea's there. Andrea was there to pretty much, you know, fucking pick his ass up. You know, that's for every man. There's a woman who picks your ass up when you're fucking down in the dumps. So definitely Andrea. 
doing that for Rick and really, you know, she's really also an important part of this group and the way it went, you know, the way what they have at present right now. Because Andrea is a smart woman and she's also the most strongest woman on in this group, especially her sniper uh, sniping skills. Able to survive in the bell tower when that guy was we thought Andrea was dead, you know, who from falling from that bell top. Even Rick thought she was dead, but she survives, even though she got her ass kicked. Now, Andrea is a beast. Now, I don't want to go too much into it because I only had so much time. But between these two, I would, I mean, these two together are just a force to be reckoned with. These two going, uh, these two going against each other is fucking madness. Is madness. Now, these are totally different kind of styles. It's like, you know, going for an American, uh, American, like, you know, uh, I don't want to say soldier, but somebody who has, like a Western, like a Western, you know, Desperado, Andrea, going against a samurai with a katana who, who's full of honor, and that's Michonne. And these two clashing against each other, two different kind of styles, two different kind of philosophies a little bit, but both respected, both just with that, you know, pedigree. If those two were to fight, it definitely is a disadvantage because uh, Michonne would have to pick up a gun, but don't even count Michonne off with that she get she knows how to fucking handle a weapon of course andrea has the advantages there but michonne i think is so fast and so more agile than uh andrea because look at when she was working out with tyrese this chick this chick is fit michonne is fit but overall who do i choose as a character it's very hard. I mean, I love Michonne. Michonne is such a fucking beast, man. She is a beast. She's a beast. She will walk. She, it's like it's like picking between Ramsey and uh, Wolfgang Puck. You know, these two are fucking amazing. I don't know why I made a chef reference. But I would go with Andrea because, you know, I feel a little bit more towards Andrea. I do love this character, Andrea. I think she just works in a common book. I think overall, you know, just uh, not just because she's with Rick, but just overall look at her overall body of her journey. Now, you could say the same with Michonne. That's what makes it so hard because these two both have that you know, trying to change or even that survival mentality. Just both of them very unique char characteristics but i would guess cater more to andrea but just by a little bit just by hair because when i think michonne and andrea it's really just kind of heads up i'm like damn these two are so awesome if i had if i was like playing dodgeball all right and i had only these two girls to pick and they're like hurry up man like i don't fucking know all right, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my, like, can I just get both of them? No, nah, then you got one extra. Well, fuck you then. Oh, look at Michonne, though. Michonne, dude, she, Michonne looks like she's going to take out your whole team. But Andrea, she's got accuracy. You know, it's so hard like that. It's very so, it's so hard. So I'm going to pick Andrea because I really do. I, there's something about that character where I really just kind of go gravitate towards a little bit more i'm interested a little bit more on what's going to happen i think i'll be very very sad when a little bit more sadder than when she goes out than michonne but like i said michonne is is barely right there it's like it's it's really heads up it's really neck and neck so thank you guys for listening let me know what you guys who will you guys pick andrea or michonne i mean there is no wrong answer here it's just an interesting question to give you guys so who you'd pick so Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video if you want to like, if you like it. And also comment. Just comment, comment, comment. I want to hear you guys, what you guys have to say. Because I make these videos to hear what you guys got to say. So thank you guys for listening. Until next time, till we talk more The Walking Dead. See you guys.